how did we meet? So, Tinder. <laughs> I'm glad that I'm doing something to make someone else. Is Trender. I am Sorn. Um, for those of you who don't know who I am, you guys might know me as Sorn as the artist, or you guys might have seen me very, very often on other social media such as TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, or whatever. Um, today, I am at Wish Trend, and the reason why I'm here because I'm going to America soon. I'm going to be going to LA very, very soon, so I just really needed to meet them and find all my solutions to my skin. So I thought that Wish Trend would have the answer for me. I am hashtag team combination, hashtag relatable queen, and lastly, hashtag sunshine. Yay! <laughs> So yeah, those are my concerns and I know that a lot of wish trenders today might not know who I am yet So I would love to share more about myself with you guys today I also have my best friend here with me So we'll be doing some chit chat and talk about this and that and all my skin concerns and more about myself So yeah, hope you guys have fun Hi wish trender, I am Sorn And it's Leonard here so what are we doing here, Leonard? Uh, today we are collaborating with the Wish Trend team and we're going to get to know each other a little bit better. Not me and Soren, the Wish Trend team I and mean, us, yeah. we're going to get to know each other a little bit better. Yes. So let's do it. <laughs> yeah. Alright, the first one is how did we meet? Um, we met at uh, so Tinder. <laughs> we met on Tinder. <laughs> And Leonard had like blonde hair at the time. I did, uh, yeah. So listen. yeah, he really stood out because I'm like, oh, besties. The blonde hair was a mistake, <laughs> just like letting you guys know. Um, but yes, I had blonde hair at the time and that's when we were just like, oh, you got blonde hair, I got blonde hair. <laughs> we should be friends. Yeah. So that was, uh, that covers the first impression too. I, I think at that point, Soren was very introverted. Like, like so awkward, yeah. I'm like, Hi, hi. Yeah, like she I'm said, sorry. it was her first time like seeing humans in two years. I remember Lena because he was so extroverted. I knew right away that he's like the opposite of me because he talks so much. He talks ever when you're like friendly and like talkative and like you made me feel very comfortable. Uh, can I say? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, anyways. anyways, what are you like when you're drunk? I mean, Ooh. we don't get drunk. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> What's alcohol? What you is alcohol? Know? What's alcohol? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Next question. Where are you at a party? Oh, okay. Oh, oh, <laughs> this, where, uh, th this is opposite. So where am I at the party? I'm in the corner. Like the really dark... The dark corner? The dark corner where there's no people Sound. there. It's just like, I'm just there because it's more comfortable for me. Sound kind of sketchy. Jonathan. And then once in a while there'll be like a human who walk past and be like, Hey, what's your name? And then I'll be like, okay, target. Hi, I'm Solon, by the way. But then Leonard will be in the middle of the party. Listen, it... He's like right in the middle and there's a lot of people around. He's like talking to 10 people at once. Right yeah, that end. sums us up at a party. Oh, my, oh. Yeah, I had a lot of um, mm. these snacks when I was a trainee. Mm. Uh, and the story is funny because like, uh, my members know about this and the trainees back then also know about this story because we weren't allowed to eat like or snack during training. So I would go to school, I would go to the Pyeonggijang convenience store and then pick up a chicken pop and I would put it in my bag. And then when I go to training, because there were like small vocal rooms and then there's like CCTV at the back of us, the company people would monitor all the trainees all the time so they have like small screens everywhere. So I knew the angle of the CCTV, so I would sit in the angle where like they can't really see what's going on here. I would put the chicken pop in my bag and then I would open it and then um, pretend that I'm practicing singing and have the lyrics in front of me. And then I just put my hand in my bag and then I was just like... And I like... For the whole year. Like a K-pop trainee criminal. Anyway, Anyways. What was uh... What was hard about training? I think a lot of things was hard because like I wasn't used to the trainee system and it was so strict. I We weren't allowed to be on our phones. Every time we go in the company, we have yeah. to turn our phones in. We had like dance tests, singing tests. I was taking Mandarin, so I had Mandarin tests. I also was taking Korean, so I had Korean tests. 
I also had like rap tests. I also had like 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 a lot of tests. You know, and then like 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 school is a lot already. And then on top of that, I had this. Listen, I'm gonna be honest. I stopped listening like five minutes ago. <laughs> I stopped listening like five minutes ago. I was thinking about like, how can I open this quietly while she's speaking? That's all I was thinking about. I was like... Anyway, long story short, I was struggling. Hey, pop life is tough, right? Yeah. So how do you keep going? What? I don't know. I guess I, I really... I really enjoy being on stage. I really enjoy doing all these contents and also my fans and everyone who look yeah. up to me like when I get messages it doesn't really hit me until when I read my DMs or I read my comments about like how young girls and like older people too they're like oh I look up to you I want to be like you one day you inspire me too like you give happiness to me every day it's just, I just get so happy just seeing you post stuff on Instagram or like sing and do things like that it just makes yeah. my day better like when I see those messages it just really hits me that oh I'm glad that I'm doing something to make someone else's life or like, you know, emotion a little bit better every single day. Yeah. And I enjoy giving that happiness to other people too. So I guess that's how, that's why I keep doing what I'm doing and yeah. I have the motivation too. So how do you deal with like the negative comments? Like negative feedback? Like I can't make everyone love me. Um, so I accepted that and I just decided to kind of you know, don't think too serious about those negative comments and sometimes use that to like kind of improve myself too Yeah. because um, there are sometimes there are a lot of criticism and stuff so as a female artist yeah uh, what's a piece of uh, advice, advice you can give to your fans? just like have discipline, work towards your goal every single day bit by bit and then you will become successful one day that was serious that was so serious that was serious that was serious Anyway. Anyways, chicken and waffles! I've never tried like really good chicken and waffles in Korea So I didn't know what the hype was And then and recently then. found a place right near my house actually and Yeah, the staffs went all the way there to get it for us today Chicken and waffles is the best It's lit Yeah, it's lit Oh my god Sundays, chicken and waffle day <laughs> It's really sad <laughs> it's really sad, but we look forward to Sundays because it's chicken and waffles. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, fun fact. All of you have seen the Chonosaurus character by now. And so how we came up with the Chonosaurus character is my nickname for Soren for two years was Chonosaurus. And that's because, like, she behaves like a baby dinosaur. She eats like a baby dinosaur. Um, everything about her is a baby dinosaur. So one day I was like, let's make a character. So this is my baby. Um... And he just came out like last week, yeah. I'm guessing. You're um, burned. Yeah. Stay tuned. All right, follow mm -hmm. at Chonosaurus on, uh, on Instagram. If you go to Instagram yeah. story and you type in GIFs, yeah. all right, Chonosaurus, mm. you'll have like five little characters that the Wish Trend team put together for us. There's also a sticker of me and Wish Trend collab. So. Yes, Wish Trend X. And also, blue is my favorite color, so. Anyway. Anyways. You know, I think like 2022 is going to be a really big year for, for Soan. Um, we're planning a lot of brand new music, brand new concepts that you guys have never seen before. Yeah, I think her time has come. Her time has come. <laughs> and hopefully we can visit a lot of fans in different cities as well. Yeah, right. now that Corona is getting better, I think that we'll do, we'll definitely do a lot of traveling to yeah. see you guys in person. Yeah. So I'm super excited about that because it's been so long since I had like a real human interaction yeah. with my fans. Hey, I'm taking someone to Singapore, that's for sure. Hell yeah. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. Watching? Anyway, Anyways. Thanks so much for watching. Mm -hmm. um, we were really glad um, mm -hmm. to share a little bit about ourselves yep. um, with the Wish Trenders. Very personal. It got a little bit personal. Yeah. So head over to Produce Zone and we're going to play another game with Wish Trend. Mm -hmm. Never Have I Ever. Yes. Oh, I'm nice. excited because I've never played that game before. On yeah, yeah. screen. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, it's about to get juicy. Yeah. Super excited.